Hey guys, Mark here, and today we'll be checking out a beautiful 4K monitor, the LG 27UD68. Let's jump in. The LG 27UD68 is a great looking monitor. Its most noticeable feature is its top and side bezels that come in at just under one centimeter thick. Most of the monitor is made out of plastic, but with the exception of the rear of the monitor, it doesn't look or feel cheap. Unfortunately, LG opted to go with a glossy back that is prone to fingerprinting and looks almost toy-like. But that's okay since it's not something you'll be looking at all day long anyway. The stand included with the monitor is decent, it scores points for its large amount of height and tilt adjustment, and it has the ability to rotate to portrait mode. It also includes a cable management piece that latches on and will hide your cables from view. However, the stand has no swivel adjustment and the majority of it is made of plastic. If you're not in love with the stand though, you're in luck since the monitor has four screw holes for VESA 100 by 100 compatibility. Let's turn our attention to the IO on that glossy back for a moment. We have a display port, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a 3.5 millimeter audio out jack for headphones and the DC in port for power. That's about it. Underneath the monitor is a small joystick that controls it. Pressing in on it will turn on the monitor when it's off, or activate the monitor's OSD when it's already on. From there, you can rotate or press in on the joystick to access different parts of the OSD and select them. I really like this feature that seems to be common on the newer LG monitors. It's intuitive and it works very well. But enough about the design, let's talk about the most important part, the panel. This monitor has a 27-inch 4K IPS panel with AMD FreeSync. At first glance, the monitor looks amazing. I'm not a huge fan of the aggressive anti-glare coating that LG used, but it does cut down on reflections fairly well. Viewing angles are great given that it's an IPS panel, but the vertical viewing angles seem to fare a little better than the horizontal ones. Both are more than acceptable though. Brightness is very good at about 300 nits, but there is a decent amount of backlight bleed present in all four corners. This could be specific to my monitor only, but I doubt it. Color reproduction is decent across the board. The panel is an 8-bit plus AFRC and is being advertised as a 10-bit panel, although it's not really a 10-bit panel. However, in practice, it should come very close to a 10-bit panel, meaning things like banding will be much less noticeable. LG advertises the panel will hit 99% of Adobe sRGB and 72% of Adobe RGB. Color testing done by Artings.com suggests that these numbers are a little off at 97.8% of sRGB and 76.5% of Adobe RGB. Though it won't be completely accurate for professional print design, it will do just fine for web-based graphics and video editing. Colors and sharpness are phenomenal across the board for things like movies and games. Speaking of gaming, this is where the monitor really shines. It has a standard refresh rate of 60 Hz, which is the norm for 4K monitors, but it also has a respectable 5 milliseconds of response time with no perceivable lag and minimal blurring. As mentioned before, if you have an AMD GPU, you'll be able to take advantage of the built-in AMD FreeSync for a more smooth gaming experience. But, and this is a big but, Gaming on a 4K monitor is very strenuous on your GPU. If you want to play AAA titles with amazing graphics, you're going to need a really beefy GPU. I have a GTX 1080 in my system and some games are still a struggle to run in 4K. When you can run games at a glorious 4K 60fps though, it looks stunning. The details in some games like Project Cars 2 is really enough to blow you away when viewed in 4K. So everything considered, is this monitor worth buying? Definitely. It's going for about 400 US dollars right now, which is a steal for a 4K monitor like this one. So that's it for today's video. If you wanna check out the monitor further, I'll throw a link to it in the description below. If you like this video, please give me a like and consider subscribing to support my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.